goodness. This week's You Can't Be Autistic Because You're a Woman. Uh, oh, ouch, cringy, yeah? Okay, so first we'll talk about why uh, I think this would probably come from early, you know, this, like around when autism was just being discovered and just being diagnosed, there was a kind of just this misconception that it was this condition that only uh, impacted boys and that girls were somehow not uh, autistic or less likely to be autistic. And now, uh, as diagnostic criteria is evolving and the understanding of autism has changed, uh, we are starting to kind of understand more about why so many women and girls are actually missed. Uh, and, you know, there are a lot of things also uh, in media, a lot of the TV portrayal is generally um, straight white men. So there aren't a lot of uh, autistic women portrayed uh, in media either. So that's another thing that could possibly contribute to this misconception. Um, but the other thing also is for, you know, a really, really long time, nobody understood masking and autistic masking. And now autistic people, yay, have been coming out and talking about masking. You know, I was part of this amazing uh, Take the Mask Off campaign this past summer, which was just fabulous. That was an honor to be a part of it. You should check out uh, the Take the Mask Off hashtag. Uh, if you want to know more about autistic masking, because there's a lot of great information there. Um, but women, because society has very different set of expectations for women and how women should behave, uh, a lot of our parents are very strict with uh, social rules and social etiquette on young girls growing up. Uh, whereas, you know, boys m tend to get away with the boys will just be boys kind of a thing. And so it's just different standards. Uh, so I think a lot of autistic women are maybe missed, not because they're less autistic or anything. It's just because they've been trained more how to behave. I think a lot of autistic women are actually diagnosed as adult women. Uh, I know women in their 50s, 30s, and, and up who are just being diagnosed just now because they've mi been missed because they've been masking their entire lives. Uh, so this could be another thing that kind of just contributes to that myth. Uh, but um, autistic women exist. They're here. I actually personally do not believe that the rates of autism are like higher in men than women. I think there are... It, I think it's probably much more equal than we realize. And we'll see over time as, you know, we learn more about this. And uh, I think if diagno diagnosticians learn to take masking into consideration, we may see more women uh, being diagnosed. Uh, but then, you know, I also want to point out that masking is not something that only women do because it is something that men do and lots of uh, late diagnosed autistics uh, who are missed are missed because they are masking. Uh, so I do want to throw that in there too. Uh, anyway, guys, these are just a few of my thoughts uh, on the misconception that you can't be autistic and be a woman. <laughs> if you like this video uh, or if you've heard this one, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and be sure to share and then subscribe because I put out new videos every Wednesday. Alrighty, guys, I will talk to you next week. Bye.